It is time for our new weekly story time. I am so glad that you guys are here. As you know, we're every week we are doing a new digital story time until we reopen. So I am so glad to have you here with me, Miss Amy from South Branch, this week for our new story time. Now, if you have come to one of my story times before, you know that I always start my story times with our story time song. So we are going to stand up and we are going to sing our story time song. Okay, let's go. Hands go up, hands come down. I can turn myself around. I can stand on one shoe. I can listen, so can you. Let's sit down, I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. It's time for story time. That was great. Okay, for our story time today, we're talking about a problem that I have. You see, sometimes Sometimes I feel a little bit lonely. Sometimes I kind of wish I had another friend to, to cuddle and to pet. And then I thought, you know what? Pet. Wouldn't it be great if I had a pet? Because you know what? I don't have any pets. I don't have cats or dogs or bunny rabbits. I don't have any kind of pet. Wouldn't that be a neat thing to have? Do you have a pet at home at your house? Do you like to have fun cuddling with your pet? Well, I was thinking that maybe I should get a pet, but you know what? There are just so many pets to choose from. And you know what? I don't know what pet I should get. So you know what? I looked around the library and I found a story that hopefully will help me out. It's called, What Pet to Get? What Pet to Get? Now you know me, before I read my stories, I like to wonder. I like to wonder about my stories. So I'm looking at this story and it's called, What Pet to Get? And we've got a little boy and we've got a pet. But is this pet on the cover of this book a regular pet, like a cat or a dog? What do you think? No, this is not a regular pet at all. That is a bear. Do you think he's going to have a pet bear? That would be a pretty wild pet to get. I guess we're just going to have to read our story and find out what pet to get. Let's get a pet, said Jack one day. I promise I'll look after it. Please, 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 please. If you like, dear, replied his mother absentmindedly. But what pet should we get? What pet do you think they should get? Jack hmm, thought about it for a little while. <gasps> I think we should get a pet elephant. <laughs> Wouldn't that be neat, a pet elephant, he announced. I could ride it to school. An elephant would be nice dear, said mom, but not very practical. How would we take an elephant on vacation? What do you think? How would it be having a pet elephant? And Jack thought and he said, we take it on vacation on the roof rack of our car, of course. And then mom said, mm, I don't think so, dear. It might squash the car.
car. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe not an elephant then, said Jack. Elephants are really heavy. They probably would squash your car and that wouldn't be good. What about a lion? I'd remember to feed it every day if we got a lion. That would be super, dear, replied Mom. But lions do have very big appetites. They get really hungry. And anyway, it would probably frighten the mail carrier. Ah! A lion! Hmm, I hadn't thought of that, said Jack. What do you think? If you saw someone with a pet lion, would that be scary? Would you get scared like the mailman? I think that'd be pretty scary. Jack thought some more. Hmm. <gasps> I know. I think we should get a polar bear, he said. A polar bear would make a great playmate. What do you think? Would a polar bear play fetch with you in the yard? Hmm. A polar bear would be lovely, dear, replied his mother. But I don't think it would like the central heating in our house. Hmm. I suppose not, agreed Jack. Polar bears like to live where it's cold. They wouldn't want to live in your house. Jack thought some more. Mm -hmm. What pet to get? Mm. <gasps> Could we get a Tyrannosaurus Rex? <laughs> could take it for walks. What do you think? Can you take a Tyrannosaurus Rex for a walk in the park? That would have been a great idea, dear, replied Mom. But unfortunately, the Tyrannosaurus Rex has been extinct for 65 million years. Darn. What a shame, said Jack. Well, ooh, what about a giraffe? Mm, too tall. A rhino! Mm, too wide. So no giraffes, no rhinos. A bison? <laughs> Too smelly. A crocodile? Too chompy. No bison, no crocodiles. Well then I suppose a shark is out of the question. Yes, dear, sighed Mom. Perhaps you could try to think of something a little bit less exotic. So no lions, no dinosaurs, no sharks. What kind of pet are they going to get? Early the next morning, Jack announced I've got it! Let's get a dog! A dog? What do you think? Is a dog a good pet to get? And Mom said, oh, that's an excellent 
excellent idea, dear. We will go this morning and choose a lovely, teeny, tiny, little puppy. Is that a teeny, tiny, little puppy? No, that's a very, very big puppy. Oh my goodness, they are going to have so much fun with their giant puppy. Oh boy. Well, I'm so glad that the little boy in our story got the perfect pet for him. But you know what? That doesn't really help me very much. I still don't know what pet to get. I know what pets I shouldn't get. I probably shouldn't get a lion. I probably shouldn't get a dinosaur or a giraffe or a polar bear or a shark, but that still leaves so many different pets that I can get. So you know what? I think I need to ask some of my friends and ask them what kind of pets they have. And maybe that'll help me figure out what kind of pet that I should get. So let's go see what they have to say. Okay? Hi everyone, my name's Abby and this is Twinkie. She's a beagle golden retriever mix. And my favorite part about Twinkie is that she always loves to play and eat her treats. She loves playing ball and she's super soft and cuddly and she's super nice. She loves little kids just like you guys. Twinkie is very awesome. She's about eight years old and she loves meeting new people and going for walks around the park. So this is my turtle. She's a yellow belly slider turtle and her name is Princess Haley. And I really like having a turtle because um, everybody is always asking like what type of turtle is, is it? It's so cute. And also because when I get to clean her tank, I get to hold her. But I don't always hold her because since she is from the wild, then we don't want to get her too used to being held. Bye. I'm Emma, and this is Winter. She is a ferret, and she's a year old. She's really goofy and energetic. Really funny. beautiful chickens you have. What's the best part about and having... did you know they have their ears all wound so you can't see their ears? Yeah, their, their ears, ears are the way around. Uh -huh. What's the best part of having baby chickens? They fly up and they teach you how to fly so then you can fly when you're older. This is Eartha, Egg, Finn, and Ray Ray, and they are pet goats. The best thing about having a pet goat is that they love to eat grass, so they make great landscapers. Okay, it is time for me to find my new pet. You guys had some great ideas. I love seeing all of your pets, but I went to the pet store and I got myself a new pet. My new pet is right here in this box. Are you ready to see my new pet? Let's take a look. I got a pet. I have a brand new pet rock. 
I am so excited about my new pet. My new pet doesn't have to get fed. It doesn't have to go on walks. I don't have to clean up after it. It's the perfect pet. What do you think? Do you like my new pet, Rock? <laughs> well, you know what? I think it is time for us to sing our pet song. So let's head on back to the library and learn our pet song, okay? Okay, it is time for our pet song. We're gonna sing a song where we talk about the different kinds of pets that we can have. But first, we need to know what those pets are. So the first kind of pet we could have is a dog. And our dog has little paws and our dog likes to stick out his tongue and pant and he goes <laughs> and you know what our dog says? Our dog says woof woof. Can you woof like a dog? Woof woof. Very good. The next animal that we have is a cat and our cat cat likes to lick its paws and scratch itself with its paws. And you know what our cat says? Our cat says meow, meow. Can you meow like a cat? Meow, meow. Very good. The next pet that we have is a mouse. We have a little mouse and our little mouse has some little mouse ears. And our little mouse has some little mouse whiskers. So we're gonna scrunch our nose up and put our ears on. And you know what our mouse says? Our mouse says, squeak, 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 squeak. That is what our mouse says. Then we are going to have a bird. We are gonna have a pet bird and our pet bird likes to flap its wings just like this. And you know what our bird says? Our bird says, tweet, tweet, tweet. Can you tweet like a bird? Tweet, tweet. Okay, our next pet is a pet fish. And our fish likes to swim around in its fish tank or its aquarium. And our fish has some gills that it uses to breathe in the water. And you know what our fish says? Our fish says, glub. Glub. Can you glub like a fish? Glub. Glub. And our final animal. Guess what? We have a pet lion. Ah! We have a pet lion. And our lion has big lion claws. And you know what sound our lion makes? Our lion likes to roar. Most people don't have a pet lion, but for this song, we're going to have a pet lion and that'd be pretty cool. Okay, do you remember all of the animals that we have for our pet song? I hope so. Let's get to it! <laughs> Do you have a pet? Yes, I have a dog. I have a pet. He is a dog. And he says woof, 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 woof. Woof, woof. I have a cat. I have a pet. She is a cat. And she says meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. I have a mouse. I have a pet. He is a mouse. And he says squeak, 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 squeak. Squeak, squeak. Woof, woof. Meow, meow. Squeak, squeak. I have a bird. I have a pet. He is a bird. And he says tweet, 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 tweet. Tweet, tweet. I have a fish. I have a pet. She is a fish. And she says glub, 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 glub. Glub, glub. I 
have a lion. A lion? I have a pet. He is a lion. And he says roar, 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 roar. Roar, roar. Tweet, tweet. Glup, glup. Thank you so much for coming to my story time. I hope you had fun. I sure did. Be sure to tune in next week for another story time with Miss Amy from up at Thornton. I am going to say sign off and say goodbye from me and from my new pet. Say bye, pet. <laughs>